Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Zubair Ahmed. Today we are going to learn about infinite series. Student, you have already learned about sequence and series, monotonic sequence, bounded sequence in school and college level. First of all, let us first revise some basic terms related to sequence and series. Now, what is sequence? A sequence is a succession of numbers or terms formed according to some fixed rule. The nth term of sequence is denoted by u sub n. For example, if u n equal to 2 n plus 1 by having different values of n in u sub n, we get different terms of the sequence. 8 n equal to 1, that is u 1 equal to 3, n equal to 2, this is u 2 equal to 5, n equal to 3, then u3 equal to 7 and so on. A sequence having unlimited number of terms is known as an infinite sequence. For instance, 1, 3, 5, up to 2n plus 1 and 2 dash 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 and second one half 1 upon 3, 1 upon n and dash dash 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, minus 1 power n minus 1. These all are the infinite sequences. Now limit, the concept of limit, if a sequence tends to limit L, then we write limit n tends to infinity u n equal to L. It means limit of u n is L when n approach to infinity. If L is finite, then sequence is convergent. If L is not finite, then sequence is called divergent. If limit of the sequence is finite, then sequence is convergent. If the limit of the sequence does not tend to finite number, then the sequence is said to be divergent. For example, 1, 1 upon 4, 1 upon 9, up to 1 upon n square. This is a convergent sequence because limit n tends to infinity, 1 upon n square is finite number. Again, 3, 5, 7, 2n is a divergent sequence. When you apply limit n tends to infinity on un plus 1, you will, you will get infinity. Now, a sequence u1, u2, u3 up to un said to be bounded if there exists k such that u n less than k for every n. Monotonic sequence. A sequence can either be increasing or decreasing. Such a sequence is called monotonic. For example, 1, 4, 7, 10 is a monotonic sequence. Again, 1, half, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 4, 1 upon 5, 1 upon 6, 1 upon 100, 1 upon 1000 is also monotonic sequence. It's also decreasing. Although 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 is not monotonic because this sequence neither increasing nor decreasing. A sequence which is monotonic and bounded is convergent sequence. Now these are some important limit which you have already learned in uh, college level. Now limit n tends to infinity x power n equal to zero when x less than one. Means the value of x less than one, then any power when we apply limit n tends to infinity, we get zero. Again limit x power n, n tends to infinity. If x is greater than zero, we get infinity. 
here x power n over n factorial n tends to infinity again zero for all x limit log of n over n when n tends to infinity this equal to zero we can easily prove these limits limit n tends to infinity one plus one upon n power n equal to e again n n power n power one upon n when n tends to infinity this equal to one n factorial power one upon n when n tends to infinity this infinity then n factorial upon n power one upon n equal to one upon e n x power n equal to zero if x less than one when n power h n tends to infinity this is infinity one upon n power h n tends to infinity is zero limit n tends to zero a power n minus one over n this is log a or limit n tends to infinity a power one upon n minus one over one upon n this is equal to log a limit n tends to zero sign n over n equal to one this is very uh, popular limit limit n tends to zero 10 n over n this equal to one these are the very important limit these all limits are result of these limits used in further uh, convergence in divergence now what is series a series is sum of sequences sum of sequence is called series for example one plus three plus five and up to so on is series if the number of term in a series is limited the series is called finite series here u1 plus u2 plus u3 u1 u2 are these are the sequences up to n when number of term series series are unlimited does not have any limit it is called infinite series it is denoted by summation or n to infinity n un or simply summation of u1 the sum of the sum of first n term of the series is denoted by sn Consider the infinite series summation n equal to 1 to infinity u n this equal to 1 u1 plus u2 up to u1 plus infinity then sn sn is sum of first n term this is u1 u2 up to u1 now three cases are arises if sn tends to a finite number as n tends to infinity the series y n u n is said to be convergent if s n tends to infinity as n tends n tends to infinity the series y sub u sub n said to be divergent if s n denoted if s n does not tends to unique limit whether finite or infinite then the sum then the series is said to be oscillatory now properties of infinite infinite series the nature of infinite series does not change by multiplying all term by constant k adding or deleting a finite number of terms if two series u sub n v sub n are convergent then summation of u n plus v n is also convergent examining the nature of the series 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus uh, up to n plus infinity then s n sum of first n term this is a p series in a p then nth term is n n plus one upon two then apply limit n tends to infinity on s n we get infinity hence the series is divergent again second series one plus half plus four up to infinity then s n s n is first nth term one plus one upon two plus one upon so this is geometric series and this equal to one upon one minus one upon two equal to two now apply limit sn equal to 2 and 2 is finite hence series is divergent 
Now discuss the nature of the series two minus two, two minus two plus infinity. Now S n is zero when n is even, and S n is two if n is odd. Hence, limit n tends to infinity on S n does not tends to a unique limit, and therefore the series is oscillatory. Geometric series, you know, you already know that the geometric structure of geometric series one plus r plus r square up to infinity, and this series is convergent if R mod of R less than one. The divergent if R is less than greater than or equal to one, <coughs> and oscillatory when R is less than or equal to one. And this proof is very easy. You can easily prove from here. Now, compare and test. Now, if summation of u n and v n are two series with positive term means u n and v n both are positive term series means whose terms are all positive now if number first condition if summation of v n is convergent then summation of u1 is also convergent if limit n tends to infinity u sub n over v sub n equal to k k is any positive number second condition vn is divergent then u1 also divergent if limit n tends to infinity u sub n over vn equal to k in both cases series either convergent or divergent condition is same it means this series depend upon vn if vn is convergent u and also convergent if vn is not convergent divergent then u n is also divergent now before taking example is important series p t, uh, p series test the series like this way summation of 1 upon n power p this 1 upon 1 power p plus 1 upon 2 power p plus 1 upon 3 power p up to so on now this series is convergent if p is greater than 1 and divergent if p is less than or equal to 1 this is a very important test p series test now test the convergence of the series. Suppose this is a series, one plus one upon three plus one upon five, one upon n. Now here u n, u n means sum of first n term, one upon, it is the nth term of this, one upon u n plus one. Now we take v n, v n from u n. Now see here, what is uh, here in numerator, what is, uh, uh, here is no any n but in denominator is n what is difference between them only one n in denominator then v n must be one upon n okay then apply limit n tends to infinity u n upon v n here again here is n goes to numerator and u n minus one is same n is common from numerator as well as in denominator we get one upon two. Now one upon two is finite and positive. Now to check whether V n is convergent or divergent. Now summation of V n is summation is one upon n. Now according to P test, here what is power of n? Power of n is one. It means P is one. Then if P is one, then according to P series test, the sum is divergent. Then by convergent by con, uh, convergent test, comparison test, if V n is divergent, then U n is also divergent. Now from V n, see that applying P test, P equal to one, that's why V n is divergent. 
if Vn is divergent, then by comparing test, Un is also divergent. It means this series is divergent. Now, in second example, now this is 1 upon 1 into 2 into 3 plus 3 upon 2 into 3 into 4 plus 5 upon 3 into 4 into 5. Now, Un nth term is C here 1, 3, 5, 2, n minus 1. And here is n, n plus 1, n plus 2. Now, we will choose V sub n from here. Now, see here, in denominator is n cube. In numerator is n. n and n cube uh, cancel. We get 1 upon n squared. That's why Y sub n is 1 upon n squared. Now, apply limit Un upon Vn here. Okay, and here is one upon n, multiply here. It's very easy. And further solve this, we get finally n cube is common. Here is n, here is n cube, and here is also n cube, both are cancel. We get two, two is finite number. Now we check what about Vn. Now this is Vn is one upon n squared. According to P test, what is P test? Here P is two. If P is 2, it means the series is convergent. So by comparing test, if V and convergent, then you will also convergent. It means the series is convergent. Okay. Now, another example, summation radical, uh, radical n power 4 plus 1 minus radical n power 4 minus 1. <coughs> now, un is simply this. Now, you further simplify, rationalize this, we get this. Now, see here, in numerator, no n, and in denominator, n power 4 in radical, if you take uh, n out of radical, this is squared, it means y sub n is 1 upon n squared. This is very important to how we choose v sub n. Okay, now you apply limit and simplify this, we get 1. Now, 1, now according to it is one is finite now we check v sub n according to p series what is v sub n v sub n is one upon n square and p is two it means series then y sub n is convergent just by comparing test v n is also convergent then the series is also convergent Now test the convergent of the series is very easy. You can easily solve yourself. This is also series is convergent. This is first test. This is a comparing test for infinite series whose terms are all positive. And this very easy series, a very easy test. And most important, a uh, very useful test is P series test. And this series, first of all, we apply limit n tends to infinity on un, u sub n or vn if it's a finite. Then we check using P test vn, v sub n is divergent or convergent according to P series. If u one is v, u sub n is convergent, then un also convergent. If it's divergent, it's also divergent. And very, very most important thing, how we choose V sub n, because UN is given, UN is given in a problem, but main step, this is UN. VN means you take in a take difference between numerator and denominator, power of n, and then you take n, and then apply the same process, and you will get the result. Thank you very much.